It's that time of year again. Dollar Tree is starting to roll out holiday items in store. And while it might feel a little early for Christmas, now is the time that you need to start gathering and picking up items. So when it comes time to DIY for Christmas, you are ready. So today I am sharing a ton of different items I recently picked up at Dollar Tree and some different ideas that I have so you can keep your eyes peeled and get them to craft along with me. This is Whiskey and Wit. My name is Whitney and a huge welcome back to all of my whiskey craft buddies that come back week after week to DIY with me. If you aren't already a craft buddy, no worries. All you gotta do is hit subscribe down below so you won't miss a future DIY or budget home decor video. Now all the stuff I'm sharing today is from a variety of different Dollar Trees. I've just been gathering things over the past few weeks as it started to hit the shelves, but I love to share this with you guys so you kind of have an idea of where I'm going and kind of what will be coming your way throughout the Christmas season. We're gonna kick it off with the actual Christmas section in Dollar Tree and the first thing that I saw that I was so excited about are these trees. Now these things are huge. They're as big as my head. They're bendable so they're essentially poseable and they're flocked. They had a ton of different options but I love these flocked ones for a little Christmas village. I also think these will be really cute incorporated into my gingerbread setup. Usually these are either three or five dollars at Target for this size. Usually the Dollar Tree ones are smaller. They do come in a pack of two typically but they're not this Plush. They're not this big. So this is a good buy. If you see these, grab them if you need trees for decor. I also found these small little bottle brush trees and I really like them because they have these nice solid bases. So in the pack of six, you've got four of these larger ones and then two of the smaller ones, but for $1.25, I very much like these. Now, I'm a huge fan of Dollar Tree wood items, so I definitely stocked up. I grabbed one of these little nativity sets. I did a DIY with this last year and you guys loved it. I did like a Holy Family nativity like silhouette. So I will link that project down below, but these are nice to have. They are great cutouts. They're a good size and I've got another project in mind for this this year. I always Always pick up Dollar Tree's unfinished ornaments, especially the snowflakes, and I have a ton of those left over from last year, so I didn't pick up any of those. But I did really like this one. I think it will be great for a garland, so instead of vertical, it has like a hanger here. But I think horizontally, these will be really pretty. And then I also got some little snowflakes as well as little gingerbread men. They had a lot of different cutouts, but these fit my motif. They had some bells and I think some trees, but I went with the snowflakes as well as the cute little gingerbread men. These items were new last year. Year. I did a lot of projects with them and I really enjoyed them so I picked up more. There are these little shapes. I got trees and snowmen. They also have angels but the way that the wings were I just wasn't feeling those for my projects but they're super cute too. From the ornament section I had to get these little cars with trees on the top. Usually it's trucks with trees on the top but this reminded me of Christmas vacation. Hoping to get that out fingers crossed hopefully end of October beginning of November early for you guys so you can see all the Christmas vacation DIYs and get making them if you want to make them for Christmas. These shapes are new this year and I had to grab a ton of these because I thought they were so cute. They are these ice skates. So on one side, they come like a pair and they're tied at the top. And then there are snowflakes on either. But if you don't like having all that detail, you could just do the flat cutout on the back. That's a great hack for Dollar Tree things. If there's too many embellishments on the front of something with wood from Dollar Tree, just flip it over and you can just have the wood cutout shapes. I don't remember seeing these last year. They are these little, they're calling them ornaments. There's three in a pack and this one says Merry Christmas. The only thing I don't like about these when they're cut out is that things like the E and the A don't have a center because it's cut out. Like, I know you can't cut it out and leave it there, but I don't know. That just bugs me a little bit. And then to round out the wood pieces, I grabbed two little gingerbread men and two gingerbread houses. So these will be coming in gingerbread stuff too. They've had these before, but I haven't actually ever found these in stores near me. I've seen Courtney over Creative on the Cheap do a lot with these, so I was excited to find them to do a DIY for myself. I really like Dollar Tree's plastic ornaments, especially with the toddler, and they also take vinyl really well. So I got a bunch of these large ones, and then they also have this regular size. So here's the size comparison, large to small. They're great to put fake snow in. I made a Grinch last year. They're good for glitter ornaments, and I also grabbed these for glitter ornaments. These are fun for like Christmas vacation things. It's like a Christmas um, light bulb. And then I also really love these flat ornaments. These take vinyl the best, especially if you're a beginner because you're working with a flat surface instead of a rounded one. So if you want to make some ornaments this year, you're new to Cricut or you really get frustrated when you have to put stuff on a curved surface, these would be great to pick up for $1.25 and perfect for practicing. Also in the ornament section, I picked up these really cute two packs. It's a candy cane and a little gingerbread man. I found a Santa set last year. It had like a penguin and then I think a candy cane and an elf and I made magnets out of them. So I just removed the hanger and the stuff on top. But 
these would also be great for garlands. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but these are a great deal. They're like a clay uh, and they were hung right up with the other ornaments. I really liked this little present and I liked the black and white versus the red and black, but they did have that as well. I'm planning, I think, to remove the hanger and just use it as like a little, you know, decorative piece. It would also be cute as an embellishment on a sign. So a couple options there, but I like that it was already wrapped. I didn't have to worry about DIYing it myself. They also have some fun kids ornaments. So I ended up grabbing one of these Nickelodeon ones with the shark family on it. I have a toddler in my house and we are big on that right now. Another fin item that I thought was so cute is this little gingerbread ornament and you can put their face in it. I just thought this was like such a mom thing to buy, but I like it. This little bell's gonna drive me nuts, so I'll probably cut it off. This would be great for a DIY for grandparents as well to put all the grandkids in there. There's also a space for some like vinyl so you could add or write each kid's name That would be super cute in a grandparents like kitchen or dining room Now I saw these two ornaments and I thought these would make great blanks So here are the fronts of them. They are cute But what I thought is I could flip them both around so this is like a blank wood one And this would be like a bottle cap so you can remove the embellishments and have it be a nice blank because when you hang it on the tree You're not going to see the back anyway So these will probably be making an appearance in my top Cricut blanks videos if you're new every season I do a ton of different ideas on Dollar Tree items and how you can make them over with your Cricut. So I will link last year's Christmas down below as well as my fall one if you're still in that mode. So these may or may not be new. I don't remember seeing them at my stores last year, but that doesn't mean they didn't have them. I just might not have gotten them, but they are these big snowflakes. Now they do shed, but they're not glittery. They're like kind of like little plasticky pieces, but I thought this would be beautiful just tucked into a tree to kind of give it a little bit of an embellishment. These things are nice and big. They would be great for DIYs, but I plan on tucking them into the tree to give some scale and to kind of break up some of the just green splotches, especially because the tree I'm gonna put them in isn't flocked. Speaking of glitter, I saw these and I have not seen berries like these before. Oh, of course, this one is like dangling by a thread there, but <laughs> these red berries I think will be great to just stick into projects. They are not as good as my favorite Walmart ones, but I decided to grab two just to try out, especially because of how thick they are. It does make it look a little bit more high end. So I just grabbed these so that I could like chop off one of the pieces and like stick it in a DIY. Lemon Avenue Life over on Instagram recently shared these and I knew I wanted to get them for a DIY. They are are little reindeer they are like a clear acrylic so if you're more of like the glam Christmas you don't have to do anything to it I plan on spray painting them somehow to put them into a DIY but I ended up getting four of them so that they would be great for tear trays and stuff with the size that they are but I like them they don't have any glitter on them yes Thank you, Dollar Tree. And then rounding out the Christmas section, a couple more gingerbread things. I thought these foam sheets were super cute. They would be fun for a garland or even a DIY for Finn. I'm not quite sure yet, but I think probably it will turn into a garland. And then last year, I got one of these really cute little um, felt ornament kits. You're gonna wanna grab two of these, but you can make a really cute gingerbread man pillow with two of them. I have a video on that from last year and I wanted to make kind of a Mrs. Gingerbread Man. So you need a front and a back. You can also cut it out yourself with felt, but this just saves a ton of time. And then I grabbed these for Christmas, but from the Halloween section and they are these masks. If you've been around for a while, you know I love Christmas Vacation, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, and I love doing videos and DIYs on that. And so this I grabbed, I'm gonna DIY these for the infamous scene between Clark and Todd asking about where he's gonna put a tree that big. I will let you finish the quote yourself, but I was so excited to find these. So if you like to DIY along with me for Christmas vacation, grab these now because they'll be gone when Halloween goes away. So when you see them, grab them. Also in the same vein for Christmas vacation, I grabbed some of these little quote bubble metal signs just to put some vinyl on for some of my favorite quotes for the movie. These are fun for any type of Christmas movie that you want. So I grabbed two, maybe I'll do an elf or a home alone, one of my other favorites. So now let's talk the items that you can find in the general aisles, but will be great for Christmas. First being this Baker's Twine. I found this in the Crafter Square section. I use Baker's Twine on everything. This is a really hearty roll for $1.25 so of the red and the white. So I had to pick this up. And then I also grabbed some fuzzy yarn in Christmas colors. I just recently did three colors for candy corns. 
for Halloween and I really liked how those projects turned out so I ended up grabbing these so I would have them for a Christmas themed project. As far as jars for decor, this one from Dollar Tree is my absolute favorite. It is very cylindrical. I love these lids. They take spray paint really well and I also used these to house my faux marshmallows for last year. Just spray painted the lid red. You take it off and then they can kind of overflow over the top. You can also find these on Dollar Tree's website which I found so I'll be ordering a case because I'm going to do some I think for like a craft fair type thing. You don't have to do like 5 million like you normally do for Dollar Tree so I will put that link down below if you like these jars and would like to get some. And then also for the craft show I love these mitts so they have this black on the back so they're really substantial if you're going to be actually like using it in the oven to pick up your pans but I like them because this front pocket is awesome. You've probably seen it before but it's nice to put a decal on the front. I've got some free ones from last year that I made over. It's like I just want to blast Christmas music and bake things something to that extent. But then this pocket is awesome because you can put a cookie mix, pancake mix, spatula, gift card, whatever. They're great for teacher gifts. They're great to have some made and you can just draw, put a tag on if you forget somebody for a gift. So I like to stock up on these because the red will go fast because it's Christmas. In the cooking section, they have red utensils and so I like to grab these little whisks for Christmas time. They are great for tiered trays, perfect for embellishments on little signs. My Dollar Trees have been awesome getting in t-shirts and things to DIY. I love to screen print them. I recently just sublimated a Dollar Tree shirt for Halloween with Hocus Pocus, so tons of different options. I was able to find some toddler shirts, so I got both this kind of more traditional green color, and then I also got this darker green color. I found a couple for me too. I got a red and gray t-shirt. I also found this heathered red t-shirt. And then I thought this was fun. It is a performance shirt, but it is in a bright green. So I'll probably try to screen print this, but it would be fun to put like a Christmas quote or something on those. But if you are new to either HTV, screen printing, really anything that you're putting on a shirt, Dollar Tree shirts are a great way to test it out, get your feet wet and not spend a ton of money on something else. Practice, make sure you like the results and then you can buy a can Bella Canvas shirt or you can buy something a little higher quality from even like a Walmart or a Michaels and you only are out $1.25 if you don't like it or want to practice. I like to have have these on hand for Christmas, these styrofoam balls. I like the size that comes in two to a pack as well as three to a pack. And these are great. I made some snowmen things with these really easily. You can also make some really fun like carved out votives. So these look like snowballs. You just carve it out and I made some where you can put an LED candle in it and it kind of glows. So these are really nice for Christmas decor just to have on hand for projects. I grabbed a red cutting board from the kitchen section because this will be coming in the blanks video. Random things but this adhesive cork sheet. I have an idea for this guy for a gingerbread themed DIY. I grabbed some of these green cups because I already have the red smaller cups. And then this I thought was fun. I cut a lot of styrofoam too and this is serrated. This is specifically for a pool noodle. So I've got some pool noodles I want to cut apart but I'm going to see if this works on styrofoam as well so I don't have to break out my kitchen serrated knives to chop those down. So TBD on that one. I hadn't ever seen these before but I got some fun little like push pins they had pearl ones as well as velvet and I want to try a new way of mounting my free printables and then I also got some regular thumbtacks so I've got three different options here for Christmas printables which will be coming that's gonna do it for today's video be sure to let me know down in the comments your favorite find that I shared today and also let me know what you are most looking forward to for Christmas crafts coming up this year do you have a big project plan something that you want to create or something you want to see me create for you guys I am always open to suggestions so leave that down in the comments be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any future videos showing you how to use all this stuff and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!